Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I realized last week my video didn't, I didn't introduce myself at all, so I'm going to start out with that. I'm Mahaya, I'm 16, and I identify as male. Uh, I guess that's it. This week's topic is uh, binding and packing. I don't pack, so I'm going to skip over that part because I'm kind of just paranoid that my parents would notice and I'd get in trouble because I am out to them but not in a good way. They're not okay with it, so I'm trying not to be out anymore. Um, and packing, noticing that would not be a good idea. Uh, for binding, I'm not allowed to wear a binder at my dad's house, but I've been staying with my mom for a while, and she's fine with it. I actually just recently got new binders, but they're all in the wash right now. Um, the ones I get are between like 10 and $15 because I can't really afford anything else. And I'm going to link them down below. I just get them from eBay. They're really good for larger chests. I'm very large chested and so it's really hard to find binders that work for me without being painful. And these ones are really good. Um, you, they're not pullovers. They just have the clip things on the side and so it's good to wear like an undershirt so it doesn't leave imprints on your skin and stuff. Um, I wear a binder for dance and it's not a good idea but um, two reasons is one I can barely go stand to dance with a binder on. Um, I break dance and so even if I could stand dysphoria wise to not wear one it's really hard to like dance with big chest that's <laughs> best way to put it i guess um it's gonna be a short video because i've been sick and that's why last week i didn't have a video out i couldn't even get out of bed i'm feeling a little better now but not 100 percent and so i've been sleeping all day and it's late Tuesday night, and so I'm in the living room because I don't really have a room at my mom's house, and I'm not, she might walk through the door at any point, and I don't want to get caught filming this. That'd be awkward. Um, <laughs> I guess that's it with binding, just make sure not to wear it for an extended period of time. I would wear mine to bed if it wasn't bad, a really bad idea. Um, cause it's just kind of hard to sleep sometimes with this for it keeps me up, but it's really, really bad idea. It will, you can actually feel it on the pain in your ribs once you take it off. Um, if you wear it too long, I generally wear mine about 12 to 13 hours, I get home and I forget to take it off or I don't want to take it off. And um, so it goes over the recommended like six hours, which is not that long. And so just be careful and do not use ace bandage, don't use duct tape. There are like tutorials for cosplay for open chest binding with duct tape and that is a specific way where it's not around your entire chest and if you want to open chest bind it is very dangerous if you do it wrong and I don't recommend it because it can be very painful as well so if you're gonna do that just look up tutorials and be safe with that I guess I'm not endorsing it or anything it's not the best thing uh Yeah, um, for those that are larger tested or even not um, and don't have a lot of money, I will have the links below for the binders I use. I have a few different ones, but they are all pretty effective and they are actually really good for like $10, $15 binders. So um, I guess that's it. Have a wonderful and safe day and I will see you next week. Bye!